Hey guys, it's Sunfire. Welcome back to the channel. So, some of you wanted me to make a video explaining real quick how is it that some Twitch streamers have their animations when somebody follows their channel, or donates, or hosts, all these fun animations, right? So, if you want to get on Twitch, and you want to set this up for yourself, this is how I'm going to teach you how to do it. So, go to your browser first of all, and type in Streamlabs. So, once you get to Streamlabs.com, this is what you're going to see. You're going to connect your Twitch account to the website. It's going to ask you to connect to Twitch. So you just sign in with your Twitch information. And then the widgets, it's what it's called, it's here. It's called the alert box. So anything that you want that's going to pop up during your stream, if you're using OBS or XSplit, you can use this website that's going to give you the link to plug into your encoder, the program that you're using to connect to Twitch. So in my case, I'm using OBS. You know, this website has so many things that you can do with your streams, but what I'm going to talk about specifically, it's the alert box. It's when you see somebody follows, you can choose your GIF and your sound and make it fun. So come to alert box and once that loads, you're going to see here it says the widget URL. So once you click that, it's going to reveal a link that you're going to copy paste, right? Copy paste and you're going to open OBS. When you're in OBS, you have different scenes, you have your sources of that scene. So in this case, let's say we're in PC capture right now. So just create a new source and it's going to be called browser source. Anything that's related to your alert box is a browser source. So click that and then call it right now. I'm just going to call it example. So that link that you copy pasted is going to go right here. Okay. And then you choose your width, your height, and that should be about it. So once you do that, in my case, mine is called Twitch Alerts. You're gonna personalize your own alerts. So you have your follow alerts, your subscriptions, your donations, your, your hosts. So for example, let's look at mine right now. <laughs> so silly. So this one is my GIF, right? For somebody that follows, this is gonna pop up on the stream. And I have my custom sound for it. Everything here is already set up how I want it to be. And you're going to go ahead and set that up for yourself. And then if you want to test it, there's this button that says test follow and, and so on for every other one. So make sure you have OBS open. And if you want to test your alerts, go ahead and click follow, test follow. And you see how it pops up here in the top, right? It has its own music. You can choose the music you want. You can choose the sounds that you want and so on. This one, I particularly made it myself on Premiere. I created my own little mp3 format audio file and then you just upload it and yeah that's that's how you do it and I mean this is pretty much it you just do the same for everything else donations that's my donations gif test hosting and all of these things so that's basically what makes twitch so much fun it, you can personalize your alerts so you also have a donations goal here which some people have if you want to personalize what your goal is. If you want a donations event going on, then you want to personalize what the title is, the amount, and then so on. If you have a donation ticker, you can also have that, which is basically what this looks like right here. Right here on the bottom. You can also have your chat box, which you've seen some streamers have. It also pops up on their stream. So you can also have your stream chat on your screen. And same thing here, you just click on this URL and paste it on your OBS, okay? And that's pretty much it. You can do a lot more things. The jar is pretty fun too. You can have a jar where somebody, when it, when they follow, the, there's a little ball that falls into a jar and that's real fun too. And you know, all these things. So that's basically what I wanted to show you guys for those that are thinking of going live and starting to stream. That's awesome. I completely encourage that. Let me know if you guys need other videos on how to do things for Twitch specifically, and I will look into that, and hopefully I can keep helping you guys, alright? Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.